Hello everybody, I am back with another video and this is the final part in my three-part series of growing up in the 90s. Of course, I figured I'd finish it off with video games since this channel is mostly associated with video games in the first place. So, there were several consoles that debuted in the 90s and of course the NES actually came out in 1985. So, it didn't come out in the 90s, but the games definitely did carry over into the early 90s. And then the Super Nintendo came out in 1991 here in the United States. Now, many of you guys may not see Sega consoles here around me. That's because I didn't grow up playing Sega consoles. Not that I'm, you know, biased toward them or I don't like Sega games. I simply didn't grow up playing a Genesis or, you know, a Master System or a Dreamcast in the later 90s. I'm also not going to be talking about handhelds in this video because the Game Boy... Um, of course, one of the huge games that came out on the Game Boy, um, was the Pokemon games. And I recently did a Pokemon game collection video where I really kind of went in-depth with, um, you know, my history with the series, with, you know, Pokemon Red and getting my teal Game Boy color, uh, for, in the Christmas of 1998, I believe. Um, so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on that, definitely go back to that video. And I apologize for those Sega fanboys out there that aren't going to see any Sega love in this video. But let's go ahead and quickly discuss my history with the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, many people hold, you know, Super Mario Bros. 3 in super high regard. I do as well. But growing up, I remember ages ago, going up in my guest room, and my dad had a Nintendo Entertainment System and just a few games. We had Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, I believe we had Mario 2 and 3, Golf, and Tecmo Super Bowl. Those were like the only games we had. And I mean, to my knowledge, I don't remember playing anything else, so those games definitely hold some nostalgic memories in my heart. Um, but, you know, over the years, I've gone back and I've played plenty of the Nintendo library. Of course, there are a tremendous number of games I simply have not played, you know, many of the games that people, you know, really enjoy and love. But I do have a small handful uh, here that I wanted to share with you guys that I really enjoy. And uh, you're not going to see Zelda and Mario in here because, you know, everyone's heard of those games. Most of you have heard of these games, but these are just a few different ones that I really enjoy. The first one we have here is RC Pro-Am. I love the music in this game. The 8-bit style music is great. It's an excellent racer. We also have Legendary Wings. Incredibly, punishingly difficult shoot 'em up by Capcom. But it's a vertical shooter with great graphics insanely challenging but lots of fun I really do enjoy this one we also have another racer here rad racer also excellent music in this one as well a sports game here that I really do enjoy ice hockey seriously I'm not a huge hockey fan when it comes to modern-day consoles like the NHL or 2k series but back in the day they had some great hockey games including ice hockey and also Wayne Gretzky 3d hockey on the N64 uh, another really good one and the last one here, we have another shooter by Capcom, 1943, The Battle of Midway. Another really punishingly difficult shooter, but lots of fun. I really had a lot of, um, you know, fun going back and playing this one. And again, this is, these are games that I've kind of discovered over the past few years, just kind of, you know, exploring the Nintendo library um, based on games that I just pick up on a whim. Now, that's basically my history with the Nintendo Entertainment System. Not a whole lot there. You know, a lot of people have memories growing up, getting one for Christmas, but I was just too young at the time. So, you know, my dad had one, and I definitely did play it. Um, but it's, you know, more so now where I can actually go out and access these games on my own that I've had a chance to really kind of delve into the library and see which games are fitting for my tastes. Um, and those are some of my favorites. I also really enjoy Yoshi. It's kind of a nice take on Tetris. Um, to be honest, I actually like Yoshi. I, I think it's Yoshi's Cookie, is, I believe is what it's called, maybe. Um, but I actually like that more than uh, Tetris. I just think it's more fun, kind of, I don't know, I just feel like it's more interactive. There's more that you have to kind of worry about. Um, but I ba basically, I got it on the 3DS um, Ambassador games, and I've been playing the heck out of that. It's one of my most played games on the 3DS, to be honest, which is, I don't know if that's sad or if it just shows my love for some old games. I'm not really sure, but really fun game, Yoshi. Uh, so yeah, that's my love for the Nintendo system. Not a whole lot there, but you know, um... I'm willing to kind of go back and uh, see some more games. So if you have any other further recommendations, please let me know. I know there's a number of games that I haven't mentioned here. Now, the Super Nintendo, as I said earlier, came out in 1991 here in the United States. I actually grew up not playing this or owning one at any time. 
So it was only, you know, just recently that I actually acquired my own Super Nintendo and was able to kind of experience some of the games in the uh, Super Nintendo library. I do have a few here. You know, I do remember going to a neighbor's house and playing um, Aladdin a long, long time ago. But that's really the only game I remember playing. And then back when the Game Boy Advance SP kind of first came out, I had Super Mario World on the Game Boy Advance, and I fell in love with it, but little did I know that it actually originated on the Super Nintendo. So I just have a small stack of games here as well, um, a few of my favorites for the Super Nintendo. We have an excellent game by Capcom, but I've, I've heard that the Genesis is the superior version, I'm not sure. That's Aladdin. We have another great platformer, The Lion King. You guys know I love my Disney movies, and these platformers were top-notch back in the day. Of course, we have The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I did want to show this one because the Super Nintendo um, Zelda is just spectacular. The number of colors on screen when I played this last summer blew me away, and that 16-bit style music was just, oh, it was just amazing. I couldn't believe how crisp and just awesome that sound was when I first was exploring Hyrule Field and just, you know, side-scrolling from panel to panel. It was just so awesome, and honestly, this holds um, probably the number two spot behind the Ocarina of Time is my favorite Zelda game. If not the number one spot, it's really right there. It's such a great game. And next, of course, we have Super Mario World. Wonderful game. I first experienced it on the, uh, the Game Boy Advance, and it remains one of my favorite Mario games. We have another excellent platformer, The Magical Quest, starring Mickey Mouse. So pumped that the illusion of Mickey Mouse, or um, I forget the name of it, but a 3DS game that's coming out that really is a throwback to these old um, Mickey Mouse games that were released on the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. And then finally, we have a classic shooter, Star Fox. I wish we would have seen Star Fox 2 either on the Super Nintendo or the N64, but unfortunately we didn't. It was really nice to go back and play this. The polygon graphics are a little, um, you know, dated for sure, but it's still a lot of fun. I can definitely tell why people love this game, because it must have been revolutionary at the time when it was first released. Okay, so those are my thoughts and uh, my history with both the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo Entertainment System. But where it all began for me, really, what really got me into gaming when I was younger, growing up in the 90s, was the Nintendo 64. It still, to this day, remains my favorite console of all time. Not only did I spend hours playing games like Perfect Dark and Goldeneye, but I was able to just sink so much time by myself, just sitting there with the controller playing single-player games like Donkey Kong 64, Super Mario 64, Yoshi's Story, Kirby's Crystal Shards. There's just an unbelievable number of great gems for that system. And while the graphics definitely don't hold up too well today, the gameplay and just the innovation for the time still holds up so well today. And some of those games really kind of set the bar for, you know, the games to come. Like your 3D Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, it was very kind of, um, you know, people were worried about what it was going to be like playing a 3D Zelda or a 3D Mario. But look, that's all you see now is these, well, I guess I shouldn't say it's all you see, but... You know, Super Mario Galaxy, that's, that's why those games exist, because Nintendo took that step back in the 90s, and they made those games, and they were successful, and lots of people loved them. And some people prefer those games over Super Mario Galaxy and some of the games today. So it's definitely telling that the Nintendo took some great strides back in the 90s, and they were very successful. While they weren't successful in some areas, I will, you know, admit that, um, I think for the most part they made some amazing strides, and they crafted some of the most amazing games that still hold up so well today, and I can't even tell you how many hours I lost playing Perfect Dark, Goldeneye, and Tony Hawk with my buddies. We would just stay up all night long playing these three games primarily. Mario Party 2 was another one that I played, but that was more so with my sister and I. We would just stay up all night playing Mario Party 2. I remember Hot Rope Jump was one of our favorite games, or favorite mini games. Um, in Donkey Kong 64, an absolute definition of a collectathon, but so many awesome characters were packed into that game that I just enjoyed it so much. And that opening rap song that you hear in the beginning, oh my gosh, it just defines that game. I mean, when you can't talk about Donkey Kong 64 without mentioning the DK rap. I mean, it's just classic. But I love the Nintendo 64. It is no secret that it is my favorite console of all time. 
And I don't see any system replicating that for a while. The PlayStation 2 has definitely come close, as Kingdom Hearts is my favorite game of all time. But the Nintendo 64 just hit it on all areas with multiplayer, great single-player games, incredible innovation with just the 3D gaming that they um, made with the Zeldas and the Marios, and then just the new IPs that came out on the console that still are going alive and kicking today. It's just crazy. So I love the Nintendo 64. Um, I can't stress enough how much I love the Nintendo 64. And if you are a younger gamer and you haven't played a Nintendo 64, fortunately, they are not too expensive. Um, unfortunately, some of the better games are a little bit more expensive to get, but um, it's definitely well worth the asking price for some of these games, trust me, because they hold some of my dearest memories gaming as a, as a young guy. So um, definitely do yourself a favor and go out and experience some of those games. Again, guys, I want to apologize for not mentioning any Sega consoles. I just simply didn't grow up playing those games. While I am getting into the Sega Dreamcast now, um, and I hope to maybe get the Sega Genesis collection on the, uh, the Xbox 360 at some point to experience some of those gems, I just didn't grow up playing those games. So, um, you know, I'm sure if I had, I would have a Genesis and, you know, maybe a, um, a Master System and a Dreamcast here, but I don't, and I'm sorry for that. But... I did have some incredible memories playing the Nintendo Entertainment System, the N64, and later now, the Super Nintendo, and I wanted to share those memories with you guys and capture them here for you guys and uh, just, you know, just share my passion for some of these awesome, awesome consoles in the 90s that um, I don't think will ever be replicated. I truly don't. So let me know, guys, some of your favorite memories from the 90s playing video games, whether it be for the Game Boy, the Dreamcast. The Sega Saturn, you know, I didn't even mention that. Uh, the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, the Mass, you know, whatever it may be, guys. I just want to hear your thoughts. Comment below if you want to leave a video response. You know those are always welcome. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I've had a recent flood of subscribers, which is just so awesome. Definitely just, you know, brings a smile to my face when I see more people that are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. And it's because of you guys that I keep putting content out. So I really do appreciate that, guys. Thank you once again. Leave a comment. Let me know um, some of your favorite memories of gaming from the 90s.